Hello guys! So it happened to be that I have two un unboxed scroller boxes just laying around, July's and August ones, and I feel like I don't have enough time and space in the schedule to make two separate videos and post on two different days. So I asked you on Instagram and go follow me there, by the way, I'm Katvak there as well, if I should make a double unboxing and most of you said yes. So here I am, I'm gonna open both of them and make one drawing with the supplies in both boxes. Scroller box is a monthly subscription box that is filled with delicious art supplies. I will leave a link down in the info box below to where you can subscribe to one if you're interested. I honestly love them and no I'm not paid to say that, I'm not paid to do any of these art box videos but there are almost always something new that I haven't tried in the boxes so I think it is a lot of fun. So first July's box and gosh July feels like ages ago. Let's start with a featured artist and this one I am very excited about since it is an artist that has inspired me a lot and she's Swedish as well. Her name is Maria and she's called Bouquet online and I really recommend you to check out her YouTube channel and her Instagram account if you like portraits and such. She's truly an amazing and crazy talented artist as you can see. This piece is just gorgeous. Then we have the scroller challenge in which you should create something from a given word or a phrase and only use the supplies that's in the box but this time I will change things up just a little because I have two boxes and July theme is honeybee, bubblegum and a sticker, my all-time favorite color pencils Polychromos from Faber-Castell. I've used them for years now and I recently got a 120 pieces set so I already have a few of these but it's really nice that they have included these in the box I think so more people can try them out. A little metal sharpener to sharpen your pencils with. And something that looks like a mechanical pencil, but it is an eraser. This is really nifty. I have something similar to this, but it's more like a traditional pencil. These are great for more detail work, like doing strands of hairs and such. Next is a twin tip magic marker in the color Damask Red. I've never heard of this brand before, but it looks almost exactly like a marker that I got in another box. And it's got one wider chisel nib and one pointy finer nib. And the last supplies in July's box are these two pastel papers from a brand that I can't pronounce, so you have to read it here below. They are in the colors dark grey and pearl, and the color pencils will probably look amazing on this. I love working on toned paper. Hope you are not tired of supplies yet, because there are more in August box. First the featured artist, that is Laura Tattersfield, also known as Star Squeak. She made this amazingly colorful and vibrant artwork, it's super cute. And the theme for August box is Sweet Sunday, so these two themes kinda work together, sweet and honey. Sticker and the candy. Then we have this mechanical pencil looking thing that actually is a mechanical pencil from the brand Unicure Toga. And what is a little special with this one is that the lead rotates as you draw to keep the nib sharp. And that is very interesting, I never think I've heard of such things, so that would be fun to try. A white gel pen, and it says in the info card that it's not as opaque as other gel pens, but you can apparently build up layers, which is nice if you don't want sharp white lines. And next we have brush pens. I love brush pens. I've heard a lot of good things about these, and they are the Thig Clean Color Brush Pens, and they got real bristle tips. I love the colors as well, can't wait to try them. Then we have a thick man mangaka, manga, 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 that's a really weird and funny name. Drawing pen, a size 0.5mm, and it is in the prettiest color, purple or violet. Last we have two sheets of 180 grams white acid free paper, brand unknown, feels very smooth. 
So that's all the supplies in these two boxes and I'm in art supply heaven. So let's draw something. So the most interesting supplies in these boxes that are most new to me are the brush pens and I must say that when trying them out I got a little surprised. They were very soft and I kind of mashed the nib down in the paper. I was expecting it to be more firm so I had to draw with it a little to adjust my hand pressure. So starting with the Sweet Sunday theme I used mostly the August box supplies for the first part but I would complement with the other supplies at the second part. I like the mechanical pencil, it felt very nice to draw with, but I'm not sure about the rotating pencil nib though, but I usually don't draw with mechanical pencil so maybe I can't really feel the difference, or I just need to draw with it some more. Anyhow, after a little practice, I actually really enjoyed working with brush pens and I read somewhere that you could pick up the color pigments from the tips of other water-based markers, so I tried it with the other pens, so I mixed the blue and pink ones to get the purple and the skin tone and pink and got a softer, paler pink. And the paper was also very nice to work on, it could stand the water-based markers pretty well and did not start to tear. Then I used the purple fineliner, which name I shall not try to pronounce again, and outlined the whole thing and did some sort of semi cross hatching on the glass. I wanted the glass to stay quite simple since I didn't want it to take too much focus from the ice cream sundae thing, and I think it turned out pretty cool. I liked the fineliner, it seemed to dry pretty fast and did not smudge. Then I added the white gel pen and I had to go over it more than a few times since it seems like the colors underneath was sucked up by the white ink and discolored it, but it didn't clog up as easy as a jelly roll gel pen so it was quite easy to work with. I first had this dilemma, what paper should I make the drawing on, because I were about to make one drawing and I had two kinds of papers to choose from and I wanted to try them both, so my solution was to make one part of the drawing on the white paper and then cut it out and glue it on the pastel paper where I could make the rest of the drawing on. And I love the pastel paper, the color pencils felt so easy and smooth to work with on top of it, and the colors turned out very vibrant. So why the polychromos are my favorite color pencils, one of the reasons is actually because they are so smooth to draw with, and that it doesn't leave a lot of dust on the paper like for example Prismacolors do. So I'm drawing a little honeybee and that's how creative I am, but I thought it would look nice together with the other picture that I drew. When put together and the little sharpener was actually very difficult to use since it was so small and hard to get a good grip on. I used a Tombow eraser to create little highlights in the bee's fur and on the body. I liked it besides that it crumbled a lot. Then I glued the two pieces together so it looks like the bee is on its way for the ice cream rose on top of the sundae and I did my very best to combine these two themes and I think it turned out quite decent. I like the look of it and the style. I also drew some honeycombs in the background to bring it all together but I tried to tone them down a little since I know that there are people that doesn't like that kind of thing. So there you have it, June's and August scroller boxes. I hope you liked this video and the drawing. Leave a like and a comment if you did. My favorite supplies was the brush pens and the pastel paper. I had a lot of fun trying these ones out, but I enjoyed working with all the supplies really. If you want to subscribe to scroller box, just click the link in the info box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!